Hey there, what's up? How you doing today? Just want to take a minute and show you this welder I've had for a while. This sucker is it's a stick welder, an old stick welder. Don't know how old it is, but it is a uh, Century Manufacturing, Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, formerly known as 20th Century Manufacturing. Uh, it's a two, 295 amp stick welder and uh, what else uh, I've had it for a little while finally tested the thing finally today put some old casters on it thank goodness because it's a lot smaller than another stick welder I've got but it's still got some weight to it so uh, you just plug your uh, electrodes into low and high which I'll probably never use high anytime soon that I know of but it works like this and then you lock it into place with this which is pretty stiff when it locks but that's all the way as high as it'll go and then that's low and you lock it now it's got some springs that kind of hold it in between in the middle but I'm gonna show you how it works over here on the side um, so obviously it's a transformer this is the secondary side and what's moving is it's, I guess it's referred to as maybe an auto transformer. But it's obviously got this laminated iron core to cut down on the Eddie Van Halen currents. And when you're moving that lever, it's got, I guess, another iron core in the center, in the middle, that adjusts. And that's, that's turned up all the way as high as it'll go and that's as low as it'll go so I think it's got I think that's plastic right there that's covering it that covers it and protects it but uh let's see oh before I even tested this thing I took the cover off to see what how dirty it was and all and this this tap right here was broken and I had to uh yeah, loosen this big nut and pull this out a little more there was luckily enough uh, extra length to uh, fix that and that's a aluminum like a square wire square shaped and uh, this one has two for the high high terminal but uh, I'm glad I caught that this it's got a fan in it up in here which is louder than I thought it would be but uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you a couple other things. Turn it around. I uh, it's uh, you know you can tell it's rusty here with this angle iron. They probably didn't even paint it at the factory, which is understandable. No telling how fast they're having to throw them together, but uh, at least they used some good screws. <laughs> the screws didn't rust, but I'm hitting it with some primer and uh, some rubberized, that black rubberized undercoating to uh, prevent any, you know, it rusting out any more, any further. I hit it down here and I hit it with the rubber undercoating as well. And uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, oh. Hold on. Look at these. Uh, crappy welds they put on here too look they didn't even fool with uh, breaking off their MIG wire feed excess right there they just left it on there so. but uh, they put some little bitty beads going down through here to I guess help hold all those laminated layers together and it's also up in there as well front and back but it's not this part's covered up because by that lock. But anyway, we'll see how it does. We'll see if I can get some use out of it. And uh, uh, if you know any anything about these welders, send me a message or leave a comment. Uh, have a good one. Take care. Word to your mother.